Hi there! Welcome back to my channel! Welcome back to my little Hope Let's Play! Um, in the last episode, we had some technical difficulties uh, at the end. And I was, fearing, <laughs> was fearing for the worst, so to say, that I would have to do... Um, well, not everything, but um, the last five minutes, maybe, again, uh, with the cutscene and with the quick time events. But as you can see, uh, we are in the dilapidated house again. And we were here right after loading the game, so there was actually a checkpoint set here after the quick time events, which, thank goodness <laughs> that I don't have to do it again. Um, I mean, again, I would have known what to do, but um, yeah, I still, I saved some time, and that's always good. Um, so let's not waste any more time, and uh, let's just continue. Am I recording? Yes. Okay, <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> They're gone. Or, he thinks they're gone, but I, I'm still not sure if they're gone. Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. Hmm. Somewhere around here it crashed, I remember. We need to figure right a here. way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. What's new? We were here before. Nothing here feels right. Imagine if the bodies were still here. Just asking, could this be the climax? That would be very quick. That would have been a very short game then, but. You know, like it ends where it started, that would make sense, but. Um, Another premonition? A witch! A classic witch! <laughs> Ashley Tisdale, House of Ashes! That was the first premonition from House of Ashes. Did we find them all? Yes! No. Well, well... No, not, not really. <laughs> but, uh... We found the ultimate premonition. We found the teaser for, um... House of Ashes. That was Ashley Tisdale, right? If I'm not mistaken, Ashley Tisdale plays the lead role in House of Ashes. I'm assuming that was her. It was very quick and blurry, a bit blurry. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, it just it says inspect. It doesn't say go out, so I'm hoping I won't be going out when I check this. The swing! The swing! Look at that! What is that doing here? How did it get here? Questions over questions. Taylor, come take a look at this. You're not gonna like this. And there she is, waiting for her. If I inspect this again, that would also be a nice jump scare, wouldn't it? Okay, no, but nothing happens. Okay, 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 all right. Okay, she's going upstairs, but I don't think anybody has seen her go upstairs. I mean, that tells me that I should go look upstairs, but yeah, we're not done down here. James and Anne, 4th of November, 1948. Who's gonna be on the picture? That's right. You're gonna wanna see this. Yes. <laughs> Angela and I were married. Happily it's ever after. Sense. <sighs> the Modern Guide to Successful Parenting. Dr. Andreas Vogel. SFT Publishing. Oh, 
Oh, we can read something. <laughs> Look at the sketch. Parents unhappy with their own upbringing can overcompensate. They might not want their children to feel the same as they do about their own parents. They yearn to be friends with their offspring, so parents accept theories that encourage love as the solution to conflict. This leads to the belief that if their children misbehave, they should not be angry or punish them, but instead indulge in ever greater displays of love. Spoiling a child in this way has grave consequences. Children become... Why do I have a feeling that this is relating to Mary? <laughs> Spoiling a child in this way has grave consequences. Children become demanding and disagreeable. Parents suppress anger at their child's behavior, but cannot keep a lid on their frustration until they explode, frightening and confusing the children. The parents feel guilty and at a loss of what to do, feeding a new cycle of misbehavior. The problem lies with parents... Also the music, right? We're still on edge, I think. Even though nothing's happening, really, but uh, anyway. The problem lies with parents trying to be patient when patience is exhausted and the child needs correction. They are, indi they are indecisive or irre irresolute when firmness is required. If no one corrects him, the child will only escalate his behavior until his provocations become so serious that his parents snap. An eruption restores peace temporarily, but there is a danger in the aftermath. Parents who feel guilty at losing their temper forget to give their child time to endure his punishment. Instead, they attempt to undo the correction by easing penalties. Discipline requires consistency. Both parents must hold the line against a rebellious child and punishments follow through. Should one parent relax their discipline because of laziness or guilt, they leave an opening for a naughty child to exploit. Setting limits. Parents must set limits, and indeed a child prefers his parents to be firm, provided they are, also they are also fair. This is essential training in getting on with other people. Without it, the child believes the world will conform to their demands and tantrums. Such spoiled children are often shocked by the real world and cannot cope in an environment that doesn't indulge their whims. They face becoming un unpopular or, or learning the hard way how to socialize with others. Some parenting advice for you. Uh oh. I think the thing found a way in. The things found a way in, plural. I'm just happy that nobody noticed it once more, especially Andrew was just looking down there. If I was him, if I was in this situation myself, I'd be on edge the whole time. I wouldn't miss such a thing, I can guarantee you that. Okay, is this the door that... No. Supposedly we can open this. I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest. Let's try it, I guess. What'll happen? Will it open? Much like in the past, it won't open. We can inspect this broken... Uh-oh window. Hello? Anybody here? There must be somebody here. Much like Tanya. Or Tabitha. And something... John. Uh, I have a feeling then it would be neither wise to leave the house nor stay in the house, because the fuckers got us circled. All of them are here. Uh, yes, honestly, I'll say it again, I think this is the climax. I think we reached the end. It all ends where it started. Um, also because we found the final premonition, the one teasing the next game. Oh. Don't notice me at all. Her friend. They don't care. Child's drawing. The imaginary friend. The evil that's been haunting little hope for all eternity, apparently. Okay, but how do I get... Oh, okay, I can leave. And should be able to reach the stairs. But before we go there... Again, we're gonna check everything out. We will take the time now. Oh, key. As long as we don't... 
have to run for our lives, right? As long as we have the time, we're gonna take it. Secret found. Yeah, um, Grandfather Clock, what about the key? Didn't he see... Oh. It was probably for winding the clock up, right? Yeah, never mind this, then. I was like, oh, a hidden key, what's this supposed to be? Letter from Reverend Carson, September 71. So, from back in the day before anything, before anything bad happened to the Clarks, at least. <clears throat> Reverend Carson's letter. Reverend Leonard Carson, St. David's Church, September 9th, 1971. Dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns and assure you that your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I've helped parents with similar issues and would be happy to help with Megan's moral guidance. Hebrews 12, 11 says that all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness. Please see me after the service on Sunday so we can arrange time for some personal instruction, Reverend Carson. This entire bloodline is cursed uh, through and through, or um, laced in evil, if that makes sense. Uh, something attached to um, the Carson and the Carver family, Carson slash Carver family, and it never let go. It appeared in every generation, and it also appeared here to corrupt Megan, and, um... I don't know if she was possessed, I mean, she had an imaginary friend that probably was a demon, we saw that in the first episode, but let's say she was possessed, that possessed Megan, and uh, that caused, um... the fire of the Clark residence. Who will we see now? I wonder. Maybe Daniel? Or, sorry, David? Um. Uh oh. I can't move anything. I think something's happening. I hear something. Can't move the camera and can't press the circle button. be a jump scare. Or not? Okay, that's very weird right now. They would be really stretching it if they're gonna jump at us. Um. Okay, suddenly it worked. I pressed the circle button multiple times and it didn't work. But there he is. Uh, I think that was a bug, I think that was a bug. Because we heard the sound effects, we heard this uh, clanking sound and, uh, you know, the groaning. But I couldn't back out and we didn't see him and when it when the game let me back out, he appeared but without sound effects. I think there was a, a timing issue, so to say. I was, I, I was like, what the fuck, what kind of jump scare are they going for? They're really stretching it right now. Okay, but still, before... Okay, I can't go that way. So, are we ready to face our demons? This is the only choice. Let's follow Megan, or whatever her name is in this life, and climb the stairs. Or wait for something to come down. I did. It only be the girl. Mm -hmm. Let's go mm -hmm. find her. Sure, only be the girl. Yeah, right. I mean, she went up there. But the girl isn't the only one following us. There are far bigger threats. Oh no, she's, she's crying. Here. She's crying, I hate that. Stay here. The pop... Oh, no, a record. Hey, Bigfoot. Hey, Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. Andrew, what are you doing? Don't scream at me like that, bitch. He knows it was about to embezzle to the church. 
No, wait. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. Your this word isn't worth is shit. This convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. Keep the words from the curator in mind. Mary and Mary alone. Every saint, she allowed her him, own kin to be executed. has a past. She watched in I, I'm talking now, sorry. Every so. saint has a past and every sinner has a future. This, creature of Satan this is what he meant. To accuse me, a man of God of wrongdoing. A man of God who has a past. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. She may be a child, but there's no doubt she means harm. She's malicious. Because she was manipulated. I know. I know that now. What can I do? Yes. If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This seek your counsel. Carver is evil. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the Thank one you, urging us Abraham. to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his doing. You'll not deceive us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. Thank you, what Angela. I do to bring little hope the realization kicks in. I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. Oh, I think the doll. The doll is the key. Destroy the doll. If it's the doll that's evil, then destroy the damn doll. Yes. Then you'll be rid of it. I hope so. The Reverend is right to blame the puppets. You always need an object. That is what has cast its spell on Mary. Destroy it, and she will be restored. Released from its curse. If the puppet truly holds Mary in an evil grip, then let us destroy it. See if the child can be free from its spell. Reverend, burn the puppet. Destroy it. We must not act in haste. The girl must face the full consequences of My her deeds. My authority is not for questioning. Do as I ask. Seriously? But we were right. At least we were right, right? So the fire also repeats itself. You've done everything you could. Whatever happens, it's not your fault. Thank you, Angela. I know we did the right thing. It must have been the right thing. Do we think that's it? I figured that if the doll... No! Just a second. What a way to end the game, right? <laughs> and that would be the end of it. You made the right decision. There's no way you could have known what was going to happen. Yeah. Let's just get out of here. But I still don't know if it's going to be safe to go out. We did the right thing to help Mary, I think. But is it safe to leave the house is the question.
Whatever questions we still got, they won't be answered now. Let's just get out of here. That child won't be troubling us again. This is over. With the child, yes, but with the spirits, I hope too. Well, the music is hopeful. <laughs> hopeful. It seems safe. Oh no. But we must still be able to save them. Somehow. We must, because I couldn't do anything. This can't be my fault, obviously. History repeats itself. Even though it isn't burning. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I knew they wouldn't let off. Gotta be shitting me. Everything's ending now like this. After all I've done. I hope I'm not the only one who doesn't understand what just happened. Why those two? And why didn't they leave the house like hey. anybody else? I'm real sorry. Yeah, me too. I know it wasn't your fault. Definitely wasn't my fault. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through hell, yeah, right? We're finally getting out of this hell. You can't blame yourself for anything. <laughs> I just wish we all could have made it. <laughs> We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. I think I know what's going on. I'm fine. Oh I just God. want to get these folks to where they need to be. It's all in his head. 
I doubt a short delay will trouble him too much. He, he was concussed, remember when John even said he was concussed? Oh my fucking god. Can everyone just shut up? Haunted by the demons of his past. This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? But might I say that it was that I was right about um him being Anthony the survivor. Hey, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's what why he was so distant. Oh my god. Yeah, that's funny. Then <laughs> that's why it's funny, yeah. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not. Thanks. I need a clear head. I somehow feel stupid, you know? Damn us. Oh my god! <laughs> the realization kicks in. I hope it's the same for you. There is no goddamn us. The fucking bridge wasn't even broken! What's next? Little Hope isn't. Uh, uh, little, Hope, uh, <laughs> little Hope isn't even a ghost town? Why are you shooting at me? I was expecting a lot of things, but I wasn't- I was not expecting this as the end. But I do like the twist, to be honest. That, that really is a twist. Hopefully he can make peace now. <laughs> Strength from within, trophy earned. Why is it just bronze? Should have been gold. Any final words? After your textures load in, ah, there they are. <laughs> That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. So that means Anthony couldn't have died, I That's think. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All your doing. And you Not really. eventually found him. The bus driver. Maybe bus driver. He now put the past behind him. I hope so. Prepare for the House of Ashes trailer coming right up. I think. Till we meet again. Maybe in the South Pacific. The South Pacific. Or the Arabian Desert. Men of Desert. Medan. Arabian Desert. House of Ashes. Or, or on the moon. Else? On the moon? Maybe on the moon? <laughs> but we will meet again. We will. At least one more time. M multiple times, actually. That was a nice one. Not gonna lie. This is um, the spot in the video where I get copyright cl um, claimed again. Um, but yeah, that was the dark pictures... Uh, actually, let me turn down my volume. <laughs> because it's... Um, that looked wrong, but you know what I mean. It's um, um, uh, doing something to my ear, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, that was the dark pictures anthology, Little Hope. Let me turn this even uh, down even further. Again, this was Little Hope, the second game in the Dark Pictures Anthology series. 
the follow-up for Men of Medan, and, um, well, not really a prequel, but, um, a prequel to House of Ashes coming this year. Um, yeah, as I said, I was expecting a lot of, or I had quite a few theories, let's put it that way, I had quite a few theories of what could be going on, what would be happening here. Um, but I did not expect that. That it was the bus driver all along, who was Anthony, who survived the fire, we learned that. That was one of my theories, that it was, uh, that it was him, I said that in the 11th episode, I think. Um, but yeah, I didn't think that everything would be in his head, that he would have to drive through a little hope. His memories would come back up, he would crash the bus, he, w on top of his delusion, he would get concussed, um, and um, that way he was imagining all of this, I don't believe it. But, you know, the thing is, everything that's happened in the past, with the witch trials, I mean, the witch trials did happen, but did they really happen like this? Because I guess, technically, this is still not answered. If the witch trials were in his head too, uh, the way they played out with um, his family, having past lives during the witch trials, being executed. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't really answered if that was what really happened and if it was actually the past haunting the present, if that makes sense, or if it was also in his head. I mean, I guess it makes more sense if it would be in his head, because it would be weird if that was real, if everything was fake and in his head, but if that was real, you know? And it would be even weirder to think that if it was real, <laughs> uh, if you can follow me, um, they died in the exact same ways as they died in the fire. The father was crushed, the sister was hanged, the brother was impaled on the spike fence, the mother... Uh, well, I mean, she died of... Um, not carbon monoxide poisoning, whatever you call it, right? Um, but, um, you know, in the past she died by drowning. So that's a bit different, that's a bit different. But yeah, and I guess th one of the takeaways here is uh, that no matter what we would have done, Anthony slash Andrew couldn't have died because nothing was real. But the question is what exactly would have happened if everybody else died the first chance they got? If we willingly <laughs> failed all the um, skill checks and uh, quick time events and keep comms, if they died almost right at the beginning, at the first chance they get, what would have happened if nobody was left? Surely the game must have ended much earlier then, right? Maybe I'll play through this again and make other choices. I don't know if I'll... I, I would have to do a, a whole nother Let's Play for this, I think, so I don't think I will do it for my channel, unless you want to see that, right? <laughs> but no, uh, I think I'm gonna do this on my own and see what'll happen. Uh, but, yeah. Well, okay, so that was one of the takeaways that, um, again, nothing was real. Uh, and the other way, uh, the, uh, the other takeaway is... I can't really talk too much about this. Um, Uh, let's just say that apparently, at least up until the second game, Little Hope, right here, that apparently the Dark Pictures Anthology games have a tendency of the events you encounter not really being what they seem, if that makes sense. I won't go into much detail, so I don't spoil anybody for Man of Medan, which is also coming to my channel. I don't know when, but some when. I guess depending on when House of Ashes releases, because we still don't have a release date, I believe. Originally, I think they wanted to release each game six to eight months uh, apart from each other, uh, from the previous one, but uh, that didn't really work in 2020 <laughs> due to something. Um, so it was released a little over a year uh, later, actually. Man of Medan came out in at the end of August, I think, 
and Little Hope came out one day before Halloween 2020. So, uh, the question is, will it take one year for um, House of Ashes to come out after Little Hope, so late October, or will it come earlier? We don't know. We don't know yet. Um, but I think at the earliest it's gonna come out in summer. I think summer. Probably fall, but um, at the earliest it's gonna be in summer. So I think we have time to squeeze in Man of Medan before House of Ashes. Speaking of House of Ashes, Roll the in uh, roll the intro. Yes, there it is. God. Absolutely not. We'll start believing. Ashley Tisdale. We are under I was right. Now. I don't know what. You wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe it, and I was there. It's me. They say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the House of Ashes. Very Tomb Raider-esque. lived on dust, plagued by the demons of the underworld. The Dark Pictures Anthology, House of Ashes, 2021. We don't know when in 2021. Ah, golden trophy, full circle, finally. I was about to say, <laughs> where's my trophy? Interesting, I don't think we got one silver one. I believe all of them were bronze and now it's a golden one. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look into that. But yeah, here we are, back on the main menu screen, or the, the starting screen of Little Hope, really. Uh, so final verdict, I like this game much, 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 MUCH more than Man of Medan, might I say. Um, and even though I still don't really understand why Taylor and John died, that I really don't understand. Yeah, no, that I really don't understand, I, I, I don't get it. If anybody of you has an idea... To drop it in the comments below, right? Because I have no idea why three of them got away and two of them died, because I didn't fail anything, I couldn't do anything about that, but, um, yeah, never mind. Um, I like the conclusion that it was all in his head, because that was a twist that I didn't anticipate, and those are the best ones, right? <laughs> um, so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed Little Hope as much as I did. Uh, if you did enjoy Little Hope, please consider liking and subscribing. And again, I, uh, encourage you to leave a comment if you have any idea what happened in the end uh, with Taylor and John why they died and nobody else um, and I hope to see you again very soon in another game here on my channel I still have the medium running right now on my channel I think this should continue uh, after Little Hope is done now um, so the medium is going which is also an awesome horror game uh, and yeah, I don't know yet what will come after that, but something will come after that. More horror, definitely. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye!